a low beautiful people it's steffi if you don't already know and on this channel i just talk about all things careers and all things lifestyle and in today's video you guys are getting a day in the life of a corporate trainee lawyer so let's get straight into it I've just got into the office so as per usual I'm gonna run through my emails put together a quick to-do list I'm also on a closing today so this is actually like gonna be a busy morning for me got a meeting in 10 minutes but let's see how we can do this now guys I can't even lie to you first of all I've not even written my to-do list so when I go back up I'm gonna write my to-do list but I told you I'm on the closing today so I've literally just been slammed and then I had the meeting as well for the other deal that I'm on um, closings, I thought it'd be good to kind of give you an idea of what we say when we say we're on closing. So this is something that typically in my firm anyway, trainees tend to handle a lot. And especially since I'm a third seat trainee, I've done three transactional seats now. It's something that is generally expected of me that I kind of know how to run with these things now, which is fine. I don't really mind. I do know how to run with them. So what do I normally do? Um, well, A, I'm actually covering for someone. So I haven't had to do all of the different closing steps, i.e. getting documents into execution format, sending them out if we're using DocuSign or if we're doing wet ink, all that kind of stuff. I haven't had to do all of those things. And I'll put up a little key on the side explaining what DocuSign or wet ink, what I mean by that. Um, but what I have had to do is chase for signatures that we haven't received because the idea is that we are closing today, i.e. the deal is actually closing today. So all of the documents need to be signed and dated by today's date. I've also needed to compile documents because obviously I send the documents to different signatories. So when they send back their signatures, I then have to compile them and then get them sent out to respective different people for their records. Um, and then also just general other kind of like closing admin. So like if there are any other docs that need to be either dated or signed or amended post signing and by amended, they're not like proper amendments, but it's kind of like there'll be places in contracts where like dates need to be put in and stuff like that. So me just doing stuff like that. Um, and then just liaising generally with the associate and with the partner on the matter so that they know where we are with signing as well. So emails are flying everywhere, so that's all been very busy. But I've come down for a quick soya hot chocolate and also a cookie because I missed breakfast. Um, and then I'm going to go back up and actually try and sort through my emails and actually put together my to-do list as well. And I'll show you how I do my to-do list for the day. Okay, so I'm back in my office now and I'm about to sort out my to-do list, which I needed to do this morning, but it doesn't matter. The way I normally do things is kind of two steps. So first of all, I check the previous day's to-do list and if there's anything that I need to maybe carry over to today, that's going to be hopefully the first thing that I do. Although, like I said, because I'm on a closing, that's kind of today's priority. So everything else comes secondary to the closing kind of thing. But whatever and i do have two things from my previous to-do list so there's a bible which is actually another closing step this is for a different deal but when the deal closes you then collate like all of the documents like i mentioned that have been signed dated everything and you basically just upload them to like a sharing platform so that you can send them to a relevant deal party so that everybody has those documents so i need to do that for a previous deal and then i've also got a trainee presentation to do um i think i'm gonna do my presentation on esg but yeah i need to sort that out and then I also have, so my pro bono work, I've got some evidence to review as well. So those are three things from the previous day's to-do list. And then I'm now also going through my emails as well, but I will obviously show you how I do my to-do list because I've changed it since I last did a vlog. So let's talk through that. Okay, so first things first, can you guys believe, let me even show you on my phone, it's actually 12.09, can you imagine? That's my whole morning done. But I finished in my to-do list. I've also, as you can see, crossed out some things because as I was going through my emails, more stuff was coming in, stuff was urgent, so I've done all of those. But I thought this would be a good time to just walk you through what I actually do on my to-do list. So obviously I've got the date at the top and then I've got three columns. So I've got the task, the priority and the time. And the way that I basically do this is that um, the only thing that's different to what I normally do is I would normally have the deal name next to it. But obviously for the purposes of doing this video, confidentiality, blah, blah, blah. So there's no deal names here. Um, like I said, I've got a couple of things from yesterday that I needed to do. So the Bible, the training presentation and the SAR evidence review. Um, I've obviously not done those this morning. Priority wise, they're all twos anyway. They're not actually like high priority things. There's no kind of pressing deadlines. Clients are not really waiting for them, if that makes sense. They're more so just things that need to be done this week, ideally. 
Um, my priority rankings are from a one to five, so five being highest priority, one being lowest priority. Other things that I have on the list, so I've got my emails, I always try to do my emails first because for me, I can't even think if my emails are not like filed and sorted and cleared or whatever. My emails are basically a reflection of my mind and my capacity and my productivity. So I'm more than happy to spend about 15-20 minutes filing through those in the morning to make sure that they're all like done and that I haven't missed anything that needs to be done. Um, and then I can get started and everything else. Closing DocuSigns, like I mentioned this morning, I'm on a closing, so obviously that takes priority throughout the whole day until that's done. So there are a couple of documents that needed to be sent out there, just, you know, your basic corporate authorizations and such, so that was fine. Um, USDD report, so I'm actually on another deal um, who need some due diligence done by Friday, so I need to go and check in with the associate to make sure that like we're kind of on track with that, see what needs to be reviewed and then get going on that. Um, compliance emails, so on another deal I'm on, we have this like compliance checklist to do. Um, and in order to actually complete that, I need to send out some emails to other people who I really need to get responses from, because you know some of the responses are to do with things that are like regulatory, antitrust, all that sort of stuff. And obviously I don't specialize in those things. So we've got to send it out to the specialists so that they can give their responses and then we'll review and put that into our report. So I've sent all of those out. And then dating all of the closing documents. And yeah, it goes back to what I was saying before, like obviously just focusing on this closing today. So that is how I prioritize my to-do list. The time column, so this third column here, what I do to just keep track of my time is just make a note of how long I've actually spent doing each task. So emails, for example, because we bill in um, six minute blocks and each six minutes is a point one, I just write my time like that so it's easier to do at the end of the day. The closing docu-signs, I've probably I spent about, I don't even know, probably, I used my timer so I know how long I spent. Um, I only spent about 0.3 doing that, so that was fine. And the compliance emails took quite a while because I had to find some stuff. But that is also done as well. So yeah, that's how I do my to-do list. Okay, so now that all of that is done, I have about 45-ish minutes left before lunch. I normally like to take lunch around one. So I'm going to date all of those documents just so that I know that I'm up to date with where I need to be on the closing. Probably do my time as well. I haven't been able to put in my time for Monday and Tuesday, but thankfully because of the way I do my to-do list, it's going to be quick, pretty quick to put all of that in. So that's going to be fine. Um, and that'll probably take me up to lunchtime. And then I'll go to lunch have a bit of a break for like an hour and then see what happens when I'm back so yes, I'm back from lunch just had some lamb kebab and whatnot um thankfully nothing manic touch wood so far has come up on my closing so the plan for now is to actually make a start on the SAR evidence review now this is not my preferred after lunch task just because after lunch my brain feels a bit uh, so but I do already know what I'm looking out for on this particular deal, it's a pro bono matter, I've pretty much been running it, so I'm quite close to all of the documents, so I'm hoping that it should be quite a quick review just because I know what to look out for, um, and I know what we're using to make this particular client's case. So fingers crossed that shouldn't take me more than like an hour, an hour and a half, and then I will move on and have a go with my presentation and my Bible as well. Okay, so I've come down for my mid-afternoon break, um, I've now got a breakfast tea with honey, no milk. Um, it's been a very busy day, honestly, I've just been back to back. Um, I just had a call from an associate as well because there are currently strikes this week, so it's difficult for people to get into the office, and there's something that they need to do, but they need to be in the office to do it, so I'm gonna help them out with that. So it's just manic, but I need a bit of a break, and I do think breaks are really important. Like, even when you are super busy, it's always important to try and get up for, even if it's just five, 10 minutes, quick walk around the block and then go back to your desk because you cannot be staring at a screen all day so that's my little top tip for you in this video but um yeah i'm making headway with reviewing the sar documents so i'm gonna go back up and finish that when i'm done let's see how this afternoon goes okay so what is a day in the life without me coming to give my cheeky two cents about my day in the life so it's currently 7.39 p.m. and I'm still at the office, although I've actually done like, well literally I've just finished like five minutes ago, all of the major things that I needed to do. The three things that I had to carry over from yesterday, so if you remember I mentioned, I'm looking at my to-do list now, if you remember I mentioned the Bible, the presentation and the evidence review, those are still on my list. So I've now decided that I'm going to split it up and try and do one a day, like one today, one tomorrow, one Friday. Otherwise, I feel like those three things are just going to continue being on my list because they do take time, like all together, but they're also low priority, so I just have to keep pushing them. 
So today I've done the Bible stuff and I can tick that off my list, we thank God. Um, and then maybe tomorrow or something I'll do the presentation and then Friday I'll review the evidence if that makes sense. And that's basically what I try to do if I see that like maybe for two or so days I've just been pushing stuff on my to-do list because it either means that like the stuff hasn't been broken down enough or it's just too much for me to do in one day, do you get what I mean? So that's how I've tackled that and I'm quite happy with that. I'm now just about to um, log in my diary. So we have to keep a diary of like all the tasks we do. So I'm gonna log that in, um, do some running, like logging off actions, like clearing my emails, filling up my time for the day, all that sort of stuff. And then I'm all done. But I do hope that you enjoyed today's vlog. Very short and very brief, I think in comparison to like my other one. Um, if you have any questions, please do drop them down below. If you like this type of content, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. I'm going to be out of here in like 20 minutes because that's how long it normally takes me to log off. So, you know, deuces.